Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I'm kicking off a brand new series where I'm going to be competing in the full Blanc Pain GT World Challenge Endurance Series on Assetto Corsa Competizione. The series begins each year at the Monza circuit before we head across to the UK to hit up Silverstone. We then work our way back to Europe at the circuit Paul Ricard, which is a six hour race, which is slightly longer than the two previous three hour races. It all culminates at the big one, the Spa 24 hour, and then we end up in Catalonia for the final round, which is a another three hour race. Now today, obviously we're gonna be beginning with round one at Monza. Anyway, so here we are at the sort of main menu championship setup. Now, series you can choose from, obviously you've got the 18, 19 Blanc Pain series and the uh, Intercontinental GT Challenge, which I believe is DLC that I bought a while ago. Now the season type I'm going to be doing is just the uh, Endurance Series, not the Sprint Cup as well, or whatever they call it. The weather is going to be based off of real life, so what it was actually in the 2019 season. Now the opponent count, I would love to have as many as I can, but unfortunately every single time I go above 30, I start getting like major stutters. I don't know what if it's my black processor or I have dual GTX 1080s in this PC, so on most games I can run fine without any issues but this game specifically seems to have a lot of issues uh, with running more than 30 AI cars. Uh, opponent skill is max, Oops, set that back to max. Uh, AI aggression I'm going to set that to 100% because I do like the AI to be nice and aggressive it makes it a little bit more fun. Uh, damage rate max so we've got to be careful not to hit anything. Uh, tire and fuel consumption enabled, uh, brake temperature enabled, formation app will do a full lap. Disable penalties because at the end of the day there are a lot of sort of glitches that happen every now and then in sim racing and there's nothing worse than doing a full race uh, absolutely fine and then getting a penalty for some stupid reason. All right, and that brings me to which car I'm going to drive. So there are all these different manufacturers that you can choose from. Um, quite frankly, I love all these GT3 cars. I think they're all absolutely insane and I cannot decide. So that brings me to the wheel of name. Alrighty, so here we go. I'm going to spin this wheel. This is all the manufacturers that I'm able to choose from and then whatever it lands on is what I'm going to be driving for the rest of this season. What are we going to get? We are going to be driving the Lambo. So the Lamborghini Huracan GT3 Evo. There are quite a few teams to choose from. Uh, let's have a squeeze, shall we? Now the Barwell team is a British team, so I think it would only be right if I went with that team. Uh, do you want 77 or 78? Oh, I do like that black, that is cool. Um, mate, that's a stitch up. I don't mind the lime, would you say that's lime green? I'd, I'd say that's lime green. Oof. Nah, I'm gonna go the good old dark horse. We'll, we'll call it the dark horse. Uh, that's what I'm nicknaming this entry. So, 78 car for Barwell Motorsports in the 2019 season. As you can see here, Monza Circuit is the first round medium rain. So it is going to be a wet weekend, which is actually what it was in real life. It was like monsoonal at times in real life last year. And there, yeah, there is the full calendar. You can see three hours, three hours, six, 24 and three. Drive assists have got everything basically like what it would be in real life. Now, in terms of today's race, um, I'm just going to set it to one hour, which is a third. So, so there are three drivers for each team. I think some teams have have four at the spa 24 hour but uh, yeah for the most part each team has three drivers so I thought you know a driver in real life would do an hour so we'll just do an hour's long race uh, today but yeah without any further ado I'm gonna go run practice qualifying and then we will jump into the race and see where we start off okay so after qualifying we are starting 16th on the grid it's really interesting how the qualifying sort of works in the Blanc Pain sort of series is you actually do three qualifying sessions with all three drivers in your sort of team and then the average lap time gets taken to set the grid for everyone. It's it's kind of cool. It's kind of different. Um, but yeah, so as I said, today's race, one hour long. We're going to be doing three stints. So all of the, well, drivers will get a shot, even though I'm the only one driving. Now, as you can see, it is wet. So I'm not sure what the weather's going to be like throughout the race. Um, I'm hoping it'll dry up at some point because in practice, every time the track's been sort of less wet and more towards that dry, sort of drying off stage, we have gotten quicker compared to the AI. But yeah, without any further ado, we'll jump onto the grid and get underway. Now there is 29 cars in this race. Uh, the sort of championship mode sets that. All right, sitting off on the formation lap now. It is a rolling start, of course, in the Blanc Pain series. Alrighty, here we go. The Blanc Pain GT World Challenge on Assetto Corsa Competizione. This is round one at Monza. We've got a pair of Audis in front of me. Just wait for that green flag. Slow rolling start here. And there it is. Oh, checking up. Ooh. That was sketchy. Alright, we got a couple. 
Uh, turn one of Monza is so ridiculously messy. First curb, no big contact, typical GT3. There's one thing I learned from my racing is that you have to be as aggressive as possible on this first lap, any sort of GT3 racing. I mean, we are offline, so a little bit different, but the AI on a set of course are pretty good. All right, well, there's a gap behind us. Slick tyres optimum already, Jesus. That's interesting. Well, we're up into eight, but if it's slick tyres, we may as well pit. Put some slicks on her and yeah, move on to the next stint already. the guy in front. Alright, well that was a quick pit stop. Obviously we started on the wrong tyre. But then so did everyone else by the looks of it. Oh. Oh, let's go, let's go. Ah, oh, wow. Went way too far in the box. Oops. Come on. Get me back out. conditions. Probably should have pumped the tyres up before we came back out. Just for these slicks, give it a little bit more grip. Actually, the first dry lap I've turned all weekend, so <laughs> still getting used to the uh, the grip levels or lack of grip levels. Probably just as much grip in the rain than what there was right now. Let's see if we can keep up with this AMG in front of us. So in practice we've been really good through sector one but have struggled through sector three especially and a little bit in sector two. Let's just see if we can get this braking zone right. Definitely under driving the car right now but trying to feel it out don't want to go making any major mistakes and screwing over this entire race right at the beginning I mean we're only seven minutes in right now 
Long way to go. Oh, understeer. Interesting to see most of the AI still haven't pitted, so they're obviously all on wet tyres. They are going to be absolutely screaming now if you're on wet tyres in these conditions. I mean, it's still damp. You can still see spits on the windscreen, but for the most part, it is pretty dry. It's a lot of exit curb. That's way too deep. That's way too deep. Ah. Come on. Just those mistakes I was talking about. Alright, well I'm actually starting to think that a lot of the AI actually started on the uh, dry tyres. So we've really screwed ourselves over starting on the wet. Um, and we're basically a pit stop behind everyone else. But we'll push on, hopefully get a couple of the guys. I haven't been able to keep with this Mercedes in front of us. It's pretty quick. But yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes from here on out. We've got a long way to go. Still 45 minutes. Anything can happen. Uh, just seeing if the rain might come back, actually. Let's have a look at the forecast. Uh, it says it's still going to spit. Uh, this is a lot of traffic. Ah, oh, shit. There's another car there. Oops. Car on the right. Bruh, I'm so... On the right. uh, stressed right now. I cannot figure out what to do. Need to get these slicks pumped up. So I think it's going to rain a little bit more here. So, I'm trying to stay out as long as I can because I think we might have to chuck the wets back on. But the problem is that tyres are getting so cold, I've got no pressure, so it's just super slippery right now. But yeah, I've seriously screwed myself up with the strategy. Should not start it on wet, that was a big, big mistake. Actually, I'm going to gamble. I'm going to throw wets on it because it's getting slippery now. That dry line's starting to go away. Yeah, it's definitely getting wets time. Fairly close to a drive-through. That was very close to speeding. All right, so we got everything in the green. This time I filled it up. Yeah. Just try and stop a little bit earlier this time. Uh, yeah, too early that time. Went the other way around. All right, so throwing the wets on. Every other driver that I pitted 
um, with at the start of the race that also started with the wrong tyre has also just pitted before me. Um, however, I'm sure they put the slicks back on it. So if we go out with the wets now, hopefully we should have caught that pit stop back up that we made. Because um, it's definitely raining more and more. No. Ah! Idiot. Let's put the ignition back on. Oh, that's a slow pit stop. I made too many mistakes there at the end. Idiot. I just hope this gamble pays off. I need you to rain. I need to absolutely piss down. Alrighty, so halfway through the race, we are sitting in 23rd. On that last pit stop, I pitted for wets. Everyone else pitted for slicks, and I think it is just about turning into a wet weather racetrack. So, should be some guys exiting the pits here. Actually, maybe not. Uh, but yeah, so I'm hoping to try and catch that pit stop back that we lost at the start of the race. Um, still a long way to go, but yeah, 23rd, not really one you, where you want to be, I should say. See traffic. This is going to get interesting. I've got an uh, Aka Mercedes in front of us. Come on. Let's go. Try and pick him off our wrong pole tyres. The problem is these guys are on brand new wets and I'm on wets that have pretty much been slaughtered by those sort of damp conditions. So we don't have much in terms of pace right now. Left rear is definitely pretty punished. Traction. These tires are rooted. I have an Audi on my ass. Bruh. Yeah, I have no pace whatsoever right now. It's going to be a hard last couple of laps before the pit stop.
We've got a train of Audis behind us right now. I am struggling. We're like two seconds a lap slower than we should be. I must admit though, the, the graphics in this game are absolutely unreal. I reckon it's actually probably one of the best, if not the best, looking simulator right now. The GT3 cars, the physics are so realistic. Yeah, they could still be better, but I actually reckon they're probably close to being better than what the iRacing GT3 physics are. Spent quite a bit of time doing GT3 racing on I racing, and I can tell you one thing: this is a lot more enjoy <laughs> enjoyable. Don't have to deal with all those online GT3 maniacs. Instead, the AI here have to deal with me. But I'm probably going to hit this lap, get some new wet tyres on it, because we are just losing so much time, and we're inside the top ten, but this is costing us a lot of overall race time. So I'm just tiptoeing right now. Absolutely no grip whatsoever. rear anymore. In and out, let's go. Final pit stop. 17 minutes left. Looks like everyone's pitting. It's interesting. A little bit too far. Oh, no, perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right, ignition back on. Don't have to worry about setting up the next pit stop. Right. Heavier now, the rain actually. Right. Come on, let's go. Low time pressure, stay clear on the curbs. Right, come on.
diesel out. 13th, not bad. Down, it's time to go. We got three seconds on the car behind. Not sure what our pace is gonna be like now, but a couple of cars ahead of us. Let's see if we can chase him down. Oh, so much more grip. We really shredded those last set of wets. Alright, 10 minutes to go. We're slowly losing to the cars ahead. I just don't have the pace. Uh, we got an Audi that's two seconds behind us. It's catching up. I'm just going to try and hold this off for the next uh, but two. Well, actually, I don't know how many laps. Yeah, probably about six laps that we have remaining. But if we can just wait around, I think there's going to be a, uh, a couple more AI that have to pit. I haven't quite got this length to make it to the end. That top 10 is slowly slipping away. This has been a pretty lackluster, boring race. I mean, for the most part, I've just been by myself the entire time. I've just been trying to make up track position, you know, trying to use the pace of the car, which we don't actually have much, as I've sort of found out. I mean, we've got probably enough pace for a top sort of 50% finish, but nothing for the guys ahead. Seem to be equal to the guy behind, but I think 13th is where we are going to stay for right now, unless any of the AI pit ahead of us. Oh well. It's just funky weather conditions. Should have started out on sticks. We'd be so much further ahead if we'd done that.
catching me. Come on, let's go. Two laps to go. again. Plenty of fuel, slightly overfilled the car, but anyway, there's one AI car that's just pitted, so he, he hasn't made it to the end. It's another free spot. Ah, come on. Struggle to hold on to this 12th place. I have to drive and block that hill. <laughs> A full NASCAR style. Here we go. Just try and hold on. Ugh, I hate those sausage curbs. Apex, come on. Bruh, no regrip. Last corner. Just <laughs> hold on one more corner. Oh, this Audi's quick. Yes, come on. All right, we got it. Just. Just about. All right, 12th place finish. Well, we went forward. I mean, starting 16th, started the race on the wrong set of tyres, managed to come back sort of with a little good strategy move to put wets on, gain that pit stop back. But yeah, no, that was that was a long race. Damn, that hour felt a lot longer than what it was. I mean, for the most part, we were by ourselves, so it wasn't the most entertaining of races, but his weather conditions really were a bit of a guessing game. Anyway, that is round one in the books. Uh, next up is Silverstone, and in real life, the Lamborghinis there last year were ridiculously quick, so it's going to be interesting to see if we are just as quick as uh, they were on Assetto Corsa Competizione. Uh, but yeah, thanks guys for tuning in. 12th place finish wasn't as entertaining a race as uh, I'd hoped for, but... 
we've got a couple more rounds left this year so hopefully it's going to be uh, some more interesting gt3 racing like what you'd expect uh, from gt3 racing uh yeah well thanks guys for tuning in like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and uh love to have to finish it off love it and yeah until next time i'll catch you guys later